So last week I made over 10,000 pounds just by clicking a few buttons. Not only did I do this on a personal account, I also did it in front of my entire Discord and posted the trade before taking it. In today's video, we're gonna be breaking down this trade and also giving a few tips to improve your trading. So if you're looking to develop your trading and continue your growth as a trader, make sure to click the subscribe button and put notifications on. So there is a few things I want to disclaim in this video. First things first, trading is not an easy skill. It is a very simple skill, but not an easy one. The reason being is that most traders don't have the resilience to get through losses and stick to their strategy, the discipline to only stick to their strategy and not trade anything else, and the patience to wait out for their strategy and their setups to play out. If you're looking for a free place to learn and develop your trading, make sure to join WokeFX's free Discord. The link will be in the description. Now the position we're gonna break through today was a bit of a weird one. It was a lower time frame entry and entry model with a higher time frame bias and direction. Having multiple confluences stack up together at one point was the reason for entering this position. I'm gonna break through exactly why I entered, where I did, the confluence I was seeing at the time on the lower time frame, and then I'll also break down my higher time frame biases as well. One thing to note is that the direction of the trade was a long against the dollar, reason being massively due to the fundamentals that are happening in the world at the moment, including the Israeli war. If you've got any questions that you wanna get direct answers from me, drop them in the comments or DM me on Instagram at Rob Dono. I've also just made a new trading account that's everything trading. It's called at dons.fx. Now let's get into the charts and break down the position. Okay, so let's break down the position just to show you that obviously I was taking the position before. Um, here we've got the position, there you go, and it's a. Uh, 12.05 at about 12.05 on the 9th of the 10th. So there you go. This is what I was looking at. Um, and as you can see, as, as you'll see, price comes down here uh, and that's basically where the entry is. But to break down the actual position, I was ultimately looking at which relevant areas had caused market structure shifts. So we've got this area here, which is clearly relevant in the fact that it's taken out this high with an impulsive move as well. So a lot of buying pressure. We've then seen, so I will, it is in replay mode obviously because I, it's not the same day anymore. <laughs> um, but basically I was looking at these imbalances to get filled. I'm very much looking at this area as a whole. So that was my point of interest. <clears throat> Reason being as well, is because if you take this swing, it's perfectly in that golden zone there which makes sense for continuation. So what I was waiting for was price to continue downwards, tap into my point of interest. Now we'll scale all the way down to the one minute. And this is how we got a very precise entry. So what we saw when we, we tapped into that key point was a nice bit of kind of inducement there. We saw this nice market structure shift here. Change of character. So the price come back down and react further. Actually, get you got a break of structure there. Continuation. So we're clearly getting some buying pressure from this point of interest already. I'm trying to think, I do scale in my positions quite a bit. It was over a week ago now. Um, I may have taken a position here. I can't remember to a T, but I know my entry is around here. I'll be able to show you the screenshots after. I'm getting this video out a little bit late, I can't lie. <laughs> my editor has been fuming with me um, in terms of speed to market. I think we may have seen a five minute change of character too. Yeah, so not only did we get a one minute change of character. You also got a five minute change of character there. Bit of a less, well, it's, it's an obvious one, but it's not because it's, it's wicky. And obviously I know that a lot of people don't appreciate wicks as, as a valid area to take <coughs> shorts from. But as you can see, we came back into this area, sorry, shorts, longs, um, or take, consider a full change of character. I don't know what I was waffling on there. But as you see, if we are taking it as a kind of like 
point of interest trade. So it's like a limit. You would take the position off of here. Now I tend to give myself a bit of breathing room uh, when taking positions. So what I did do was I waited for this. I don't think I did take a position here. I may, I may have, I don't think I did. Um, but I could have, again. I'll have to double check because I can't actually remember now. But um, the entry was around this point. I think it was two, one. So around there, and again, I normally have this stop about, about a pip lower than the whole number. It sounds really weird, I just tend to do that. Uh, so I've just done for, for recent times. Um, and as you can see from this area, we then saw another change of character on the one minute, kind of a change of direction, a little bit of a liquidity sweep, and then the change of character there, retest, continuation. So anywhere in this point was a very precise entry. Looking at the Discord, where did I get my entry? Yes. I was looking at more when it came back into this area here. Okay. Um, so yeah, I, th I do believe I was looking for a bit more confirmation as you can probably see by the text uh, and it started to make a lot more sense with timing because um, it was kind of came to one, literally on one we swept a bit of liquidity um, and then you start to see the move happen. So my initial target very much Asian high um, as always, typically my strategy is looking at either side of Asian session depending on, well, depending on what's happened in the day. but. This is what happened. So I take I took a small take profit when that happened. I'm not trying to call me. Small take profit there, but realistically, target was always up here. Main reason being is because again, going back to that five minute and fifteen minute market structure, the shift came from here. So we had a very impulsive move from here. Um, and this is perfectly aligning with the discounted range, the golden zone within that Fibonacci retracement. And then as you can see, we've taken out Asian high, there's your first take profit. And then we come towards the overall high, the overall trend high, the bullish leg high um, to create some sort of break of structure. <clears throat> I do believe I had partials running over, potentially overnight, which I don't normally do. Um, but I was pretty certain that we were gonna at least hit this high, which we should do any minute now. Maybe not any minute, but at some point. <laughs> oh, I scaled in. Did I scale in? Anyways, we hit the high. Ultimately, the trade, the trade played out. I feel like I did scale in at some point. I will need to double check. And if I did scale in, I'll probably go for it in the rest of the video. If I didn't, I probably just didn't scale in. But um, yeah, that was the position. Ultimately, really nice trade, uh, standard, kind of what you'd expect market to do. Uh, generally looking at it and just to list off the trade criteria for you lot that desperately like trade criteria, I was looking at market structure. So clear direction on the market in terms of which direction the market should be moving in. Are we bullish? Are we bearish? Are we ranging? Uh, as you can see, I could clearly identify that this was a bullish moment, like there's a lot of bullish momentum from this area. So then identify my demand order block, then coming into the discounted of this swing, finding the demand order block and causing a one minute and five minute change of character, waiting for New York to hit, well, New York hitting, you can take pre-New York as well, seeing some sort of shift again on the one minute out of our point POIs uh, and then getting confirmation when the breaker structures and the impulsive moves were coming out. I do think I scaled, but I just need to figure out exactly when. Sorry, I don't remember this position too much. I've got, I think I've got short term memory loss uh, as this was 10 days ago. To be fair, 10 days, 10 days ago now. Uh, but yeah, if you want any more information on why I took the position or if you want to see more of my trades, I'm happy to do so more often. Just make sure to click the subscribe button, comment in the description if you enjoyed this. And if you want to see more, if you want to know a bit more about my trading, then drop me a message on Instagram at Rob Dono. Okay, hope you all enjoyed. Cheers, guys. When I was broke, I would have dreamed of weeks and days like this. This time two years ago, I was working in a COVID testing center and I didn't even have enough money to pay for my day to days, but in no way, shape or form has it been easy. Now I know as a new trader, there's so much information to intake, especially on YouTube with different strategies being talked about all the time. 
And then when you're actually on the charts, you've got two different strategies, both telling you to trade the opposite way. It causes a massive conflict in your mind. So one big tip I'd give to you beginner traders is learning one specific style or one specific strategy and just focusing on that. Back test it obviously and make sure it has a decent win rate with a good risk to reward. Then forward test it on a demo or a small live slash small challenge account. The reason I do prefer testing on a live account as well is just so you can develop your psychology too. This is all done on a personal account. This is trading my own funds. After everything happened with my Forex funds, I am a bit standoffish with prop firms, but I am going to go for some new challenges this next month. So again, make sure to subscribe to see how I get on with those challenges. Thank you to those that's made it all the way through the end of this video. If you have, comment the words woke in the section down below. If you're really enjoying the content and want to see more like this, make sure to click the subscribe button to let me know that you guys are appreciating these videos and do want more. Make sure to smash that like button too. And best of luck to all of you that are trading.